tomato is starting to ripen. Welcome back. The better bush plant is growing well. I don't have any more flowers that are pollinated yet. Not a lot of things new, but give you an update on how things are going. I moved all the pepper plants up here into the sunroom. So now we've got five here and then we have the other uh, two, four, six. But here in the sunroom I left them in these small pots because it's a matter of how well they will survive the cold is what I'm interested in. Down on the floor here, they're growing slowly because, well, the temperatures are a little cooler out here, but they're doing well. Now, this is my potting soil. And this is the store-bought potting soil. There is a difference, and it seems that in the store-bought potting soil, the leaves are a little rougher. We're still waiting to see, and we'll watch them as they grow. Wondering when to tell if the eggplant is fully ripe. Oh, it's starting to get soft. So fairly soon I'll be taking this. I'm not using it to eat. I'm wanting to get the seeds out of it. So that's why it's just left sitting there. And these are three fat and sassy peppers, as you know, that were in the store-bought potting mix. I have to check and see if these are supposed to uh, turn color or not. That I think is the shape that they're supposed to grow in. Hence the reason fat and sassy. No sign of growth on the um, cuttings that I have put in here. Snow on the outside today, but here we are in by the bay window. I had to cut back the sweet marjoram and rosemary again. And here are the pepper plants, the two unknowns. And then we'll swing around all the way over here to the two that we know are chocolate peppers. They haven't grown very much. This guy has come back, he's growing nicely. Garlic chives, I've cut around them again. This green lemon thyme, he seems to be coming along really nicely. The hot and spicy oregano, I took him out, I cut him back, and this was all green. I trimmed the roots as well and just repotted it, and it uh, died, so I guess I don't have a hot and spicy oregano now. I'll soon be replacing the uh, basils that's here. And this is the other oregano. Which oregano is this? Zetac oregano. He's doing nicely.
Let's see if I can get it to. And here's the peppers on the pepper of unknown variety. There's one down here. I don't think I showed them to you. And when I was watching the video that I was creating last time, I realized that I didn't show you them all. I got one there, and there's one, two, and back there there's another one, three. So I have uh, four peppers growing on this right now. The kale is coming along. I've got them put along in a single row now, about below the LED light. And as you can see, they're getting up fairly well. I have an issue with growing microgreens. One of them, when you put soil on top of the seeds, it, they would seed sprout and they just lift up the soil so I'm going to have to do something different there but if you look you see all the fungal ife that's growing over the soil that's a problem I'm having here now whether it's just my climate or something I'm doing wrong that is something that um, I really don't know because we're in almost a rainforest so it's a humid damp climate here and there could be fungal spores that most places that tell you oh this is how you grow microgreens well they may not have to deal with most of the uh, fungal spores that I would have to deal with I took the uh, dome off of the tray in here and put it under the lights to give it more light because as you can see those uh, the second and third row there they're growing up tall and leggy um, so I'm going to have to do something with them now today so that I can put them, I'll put them in cups and then I can put them along in a single line underneath the um, fluorescent lights, the, the uh, LED strip. You remember the pepper of unknown variety that I just showed you upstairs? I have, what was it? four peppers growing on it and I harvested the two that was ripe uh, I mentioned in the last video and I have the seeds put in here I put in ten seeds and that was November the 25th so six days ago And all but one has germinated. So this is the only one that didn't germinate so far, and he might yet. I have a couple sisters to send some seeds to. Now, Apache is a hybrid, so this is this uh, child of an hybrid. Um, if I will get a similar plant again, we don't know, but I should get a hot pepper. That we'll find out when they produce, of course. I have the last line here now in this tray made ready to put them in. I'm going to plant them in and grow them out and we'll see. The St. John's wort <coughs> I don't know how long I've got only one plant to grow from the seeds I bought from that company this I realized 
is a weed. It's not a St. John's wort. So, so far nothing has germinated. I found another company that offers St. John's wort. Uh, it's a Canadian company. Both are Canadian companies. So I'm going to order from them and see if I get any better results. I have to check my memory. Where did I put that? It's right here. So those two rows with the long leggy seedlings that's winter savory and summer savory. I'm going to put them over into cups. That's what they look like on a close up. And I'm going to use the uh, toilet paper roll thing again. My last time I did this I just took the toilet paper roll as you know when I put it down I dropped the seedling down in the toilet paper roll but it quickly soaked so this one I have pre-soaked in linseed oil so hopefully it won't soak and fall apart on me
there we are I have the summer savory put in closer to the wall and the winter savory put outside I will lower these lights now down just a couple inches from the savory and they should grow much better than they were growing before I don't have a great lighting system because I just have I have those two strips there and that one here and then the light bulbs what I'm thinking is that I can put two more strips in here when I get the money to collect them and then I'll have a very good lighting system that I can put the trays the uh, one foot by two foot trays right underneath while I'm down here one of the modifications I had to make that brace in there so I had to put that one there the last couple of days because I noticed that the shelf was tilted forward and bowed down in the center as well as this trough for water so I had to do a little bit of modification and put an extra brace in so it wouldn't sag in the center the toilet paper roll held up it's a little soft on the end there but it was 12 plantings the next time I go to plant of course it'll be all dried out again so the soaking in linseed oil was successful and that's the news I have for now thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video